What's up, freaks? In the mentorship groups, a daily dose of the mentorship motivator. Back on track with these videos. Today, we're talking about emotional intelligence. If you haven't read the book, Emotional Intelligence, and it's an older book. I think Daniel Coleman was the author. Then there was kind of a small bullet point reference book created more recently, Emotional, Intelli emotional Intelligence 2.0. If you haven't read that one, check that one out too. We really need to read both of those books if you haven't. That's basically what we're talking about today is based off of all those studies from those books and those books themselves, emotional intelligence. So read those books. So first you need to, you, emotional intelligence is not like your IQ. If you have a, a low IQ like me, you're just fucked and there's nothing you can do about it. But your emotional intelligence, or they call it whatever, your EQ, you can change that and train that and improve that and build on that like in, like very quickly in a short amount of time, a very short amount of time. It's just making a decision to do it. So First, what is the, the four groups of emotional intelligence? The four groups are self first and in this order also. Self-awareness, self-management, social awareness, and relationship management. So first thing is, there is tests you could take to, to judge yourself in those four, but what, what order do you put yourself in first the, from, from weakest to strongest? So again, it's self-awareness, self-management, social awareness, relationship management. And we'll break those four down over the next week or two on these daily videos. So for me, social awareness, was is the well really relationship management's the worst but before that you have to have social awareness so for me it goes in order of social awareness relationship management then self awareness and self management are a little bit better but so obviously the social and the relationship management part are the ones i need to work on most and I literally i train and study and practice that stuff every single fucking day every morning i work on this and i'm not joking every morning Sometimes also in the middle of the day, afternoon, evening, whatever, but at least every morning. So that's your baseline right there to figure out which of those areas you need to work on the most. We're going to break them all down as we go. But basically, having a, a, in general, we're going to talk about just the general emotional intelligence, which it breaks into those four groups, but we're going to talk about it in general. So this is how we lead our people. This is how we deal with people, how you lead your team, how you talk to people, how you act, how you lead by example. This is all examples of emotional intelligence. Now, it's a little different than emotional discipline, which we've talked in the past. Emotional discipline is, is controlling all these different aspects of emotional intelligence and not snapping and losing your shit and always staying calm and controlled. Emotional intelligence is just having that people smarts. Think of emotional intelligence as just being people smart. If you want to dummy it down to a simpler version, people smart is the simple version of emotional intelligence. So when it comes to how you lead your freaking team and how you deal with people, how you talk to people, how you lead by example, it's up to you to break through to your team. It's not It's not up to them to break through to you and to break through your freaking emotional fucked up in this. You're, you're the business owner. You're the leader. It's up to you to break through to them. It's not up to them to break through to you. It's your job. This is our job on how we deal with things and how we deal with people and how we deal with all the fucked up situations that come along in your business, how you deal with them. That is up to you in all areas of life. And so this... This stuff is not just your staff. We're talking about in your sales sales meetings, whatever, consultations with your family, with your friends, all freaking areas of your life we're talking about. And this stuff is useless. You can, you can, everything is useless. You know that. If you study stuff, read a book, but you don't implement it, you don't apply it, right? You need to nail this shit down before you even can graduate to other levels of, of thinking or, or communication. It starts off with just being fucking people smart. And people smart, well, you are a person, so it starts with also being people smart about your damn self. That's what it starts about. Again, don't forget self-awareness, self-management, social awareness, and relationship management. So again, and, and it does cross paths with emotional discipline, like we've talked about in the past, but it's basically the ability to recognize and understand the emotions in yourself and the emotions in other people. And it's also your ability to use that awareness and that to manage your behavior and relationships with those other people. So it's controlling your own shit and how you act, recognizing other people's shit and how you act with them while they're going through their shit. And it takes a lot of self-control. Of course, we know that. That's where it crosses paths with emotional discipline. You know, to, to learn and to see how other people freaking think and act in social situations. And then you have to make decisions based on that stuff. And listen, you, you can't avoid... The fact that when shit comes into your world, into your sector, people's nonsense, whatever it is, anything, it's going to go through the emotional part of your brain first before it gets to the logical. No matter what, you can't avoid that. 
So your initial reaction is always going to be fucking emotional, which is what you need to avoid. Now, you do control your thoughts and reactions and actions and the words that follow that once it hits the emotional part of your brain. You do control how quickly you can shift it to, to the logical part and take control of that shit so you don't spaz out out of control. You do control your thoughts and actions and reactions and the words that follow up to the, the shit that you allow in there. So the first thing is, don't allow shit to breach your perimeter. But you need to be aware when the, when your emotions are taken over. You know when your fucking buttons are being pushed. And you need to cut that shit instantly. And not let it be the, the, the pilot of your fucking rocket ship. Don't let it be the pilot of your, of your fight of your jet. You need to spot the, learn to spot the triggers in yourself. And the hot buttons in yourself. And then also spot the triggers and hot buttons in other people. But you're gonna, you can't even do that if you can't do that shit in yourself first. So it's all starts to yourself. You won't be able to. You won't be able to have any emotional intelligence with other people if you can't lock your own shit down. That goes with everything else first, right? Everything fucking starts with you, and we already know that. So learn to productively respond to to, to different people in different situations, and this takes. This is where practice comes in. Role playing, training. You need to become aware of it until this stuff becomes a habit. And even when something is a habit, you still need to fucking drill it and practice it every day. So no, no matter where you are or your situation or your history, your experiences, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. You can train your freaking emotional intelligence. You can make it stronger and you can improve it literally on a daily basis. Like within minutes, you can make it even better just by making the decision to want to freaking do it. So be aware of your emotions and how you actually act on those emotions. Don't just go around being a douchebag because every little thing gets you and pisses you off, whatever. You need to control your shit. That's where it goes to staying in the green. That's where it crossed the line from emotional discipline. Then be aware of other people's thoughts and moods and emotions and then how are you going to interact with them that's what it all crosses so be aware of your own emotions and how you actually act on those emotions then be aware of other people's thoughts moods and emotions and how you're going to interact with them because there's some fucked up people out there shit we're all fucked up right and there's some other fucked up people out there so to let two groups of fucked up people communicate and make shit happen and build a freaking empire in your business it requires you to have tons of emotional intelligence or people smarts you need to be people smart you need to be a people person. You can't go around and say, I'm not a people person. It's bullshit. It's a label. Stop telling yourself that's an excuse to be fucking lazy and to not get shit done. Anyway, I will talk to you later. This is the mentorship motivator. I will talk to you soon. If you need anything, let me know. Put a comment down below. No excuses.